Well, if you've been experimenting with gesture controls on your smartphone and dabbling with a bit of artificial intelligence, there's a new offering from a company you don't hear very often about in the smartphone space. Here's our tech team's review of the new Panasonic P81 smartphone. This company has been known for keeping home school with their air conditioners. And then they made smartphones that heat up like these. Never mind, they are finding a new space with their latest smartphone offering. This is the Panasonic P81, a smartphone that promises to put Panasonic in the uppercut of great smartphones. Or maybe not. Panasonic P81 looks like any other smartphone that companies make. A black slab with some capacitive buttons, a huge screen up front, a plastic back panel at the back and Android hopping on your screen. It's not that great looking smartphone but is made well and means well. Keep noticing it for some time and the design sinks in. Panasonic has kept the bezel slim so that without stretching your hand too much you can use the entire screen. And at just 7.9 millimeters in thickness, it's easy to pocket as well. P81 also has a metal trim that runs on the side and gives the oomph factor. The display of the Panasonic P81 is a 5.5 inch HD IPS display. It's not a full HD display but offers pixel resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. P81 is a dual SIM smartphone and trying to keep up with the processor wars, Panasonic loaded it with a 1.7 GHz octa-core MediaTek MT6592 processor with Mali 450 MP4 GPU and 1 GB of RAM. Yes, it performs decent enough considering that it has an octa-core processor at its heart, but then again, don't expect it to perform like the heavyweights of the smartphone world. There is also 8 GB of internal memory expandable up to 32 GB with a micro SD card. Panasonic has been advertising this smartphone a lot for its gesture play for opening apps. Well, it does perform on that front very well and that is one main USP of this smartphone. Apart from that, it's a regular Joe. Panasonic P81 features a 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash capable of 1080p video recording and a 2 megapixel front facing camera for selfies. The images come out crisp and sharp and the camera performance is something that was impressive on the Panasonic P81. This is one department where it does not disappoint at all but like many other smartphones the low light photography is just too grainy. Panasonic P81 features a 2500 mAh removable battery that is quite impressive and lasts you a day easily even with heavy usage. In the battery department, the P81 is right on the money. For the price tag of Rs 22,000 on the box, Panasonic P81 isn't the best smartphone around in this price range. Gesture play sure is good. But when it comes to performance, looks and overall smartphone experience, it's just another pretty average option for you guys.